I'm Christine Crawley, and this is your NWI.com daily update for Wednesday, August 25th. In Lake County Court, a plea bargain is expected in the Griffith double murder of two sisters. Prosecutors expect 36-year-old David Flores will plead guilty in exchange for a life sentence with no chance of parole. Flores was on parole last September for an earlier rape conviction when prosecutors say he raped one sister, killed them both, and then tried to burn their bodies. Flores would be facing the death penalty if convicted by a jury. An official announcement about his plea bargain could come Thursday. The search continues today in Lake Michigan for a South Bend teen whose swimming companion was found dead Tuesday morning. 17-year-old Lorenzo Greer is still missing after he and friend Scott Hoover, also from South Bend, went swimming into the lake's rough waters on Sunday. The body of 14-year-old Hoover was found Tuesday morning near the Washington Park Lighthouse Pier in Michigan City. At NWI.com today, a young DeMott man who was the driver in a fatal drunken driving accident in May takes to the internet to share his side of the story. Prosecutors say that in May, 21-year-old Dean Telema yeah, slammed his car into a large tree in DeMott and killed two of his passengers, a 16-year-old and 17-year-old Kankakee Valley High School students. Telema faces several charges in the crash, including two counts of causing the death of someone while operating a motor vehicle while under a controlled substance. Go to NWI.com for links to videos where Telema shares his side of why he got behind the wheel that night. Tomorrow, follow our coverage of troops deploying from Hobart, as well as property tax appeals in Porter County. For all of your news from in and out of the region, follow us on NWI.com as well as Facebook and Twitter.